Folks, we're here. I'm back with another video, and I'm here to do a review of a vacation home rental that we decided to rent in Orlando, Florida, in Kissimmee area, kind of a couple minutes away from Disney. Uh, for me and some family members, I'll go through some of the event amenities. I'll go through some of the things that I don't like and some of the things that I do like shortly. So without further ado, here we go. So this right here is the top level. So this is kind of like a living area over here. I believe this house is called Sunshine Paradise. They're associated with the Reunion Resort uh, chain of vacation home rentals. You could also rent condos as well. You have a pool table here. I'll go through some of the bedrooms. This house has seven bedrooms, five master bedrooms with bathrooms, with king size beds, and then two um, child themed bedrooms, which we'll go to now. Um, like geared towards uh, smaller kids with bunk beds and things of that nature. So without further ado, let's check it out. So this is one of the major reasons why we decided to rent this place. Um, it has um, four bunk beds here. I think they're all full size bunk. No, I'm sorry. There's two twin bunk beds and two full size bunk beds. So you could fit four children in here and each one of these bunk beds has its own TV uh, with Netflix and things of that nature. But I will have to admit when we arrived, um, they really did not upkeep this uh, house the way it should have been for arriving guests. Uh, half the TVs here did not work. Half of them do not still work. Um, some of them weren't plugged in properly and the, the connections weren't attached. And that's really something that should have been done prior to the arrival of guests and checked out. But we really did like this slide aspect here and the kids really do love this. And also you have the whole Marvel theme here. And this might be geared towards more of a, a boyish type of room. Off here to the side again we've been staying here for a couple days so please excuse the mess you do have a master bedroom decent sized master bedroom with its own bathroom here and then it has a Jack and Jill bathroom shower combination to another kids theme room which I'll open up right here this is more geared towards you know a girl theme with princesses you have four bunk beds here as well a same type of setup a full-size bunk bed on the bottom and a twin size bunk bed on the top there are stairs to go up to the top bunk beds as well and uh, this room is fairly nice okay moving off to the hallway you do have a washer and dryer room here go off to the right here's another master bedroom here again very nice bed here very nice size has fans ACs let's check out the bathroom here and there's another bathroom here with your standard shower sink combination This is the actual bedroom I'm staying in, this vacation right here, which is, again, part of the mess. We've been staying here a couple of days. I didn't get a chance to do the video, but we've been staying here. This is the biggest master bedroom in this actual location. Off here to the left, we have a walk-in closet, storing our clothes, bathroom, with towels and stuff all over the place. Shower, tub combination, and there's a toilet back there. Not much to see. But yeah, this is the room that I'm staying in right now. All right, so let's head down the hall and down the stairs. All right, so coming down the stairs here, as soon as you walk through the front door, you have another bedroom off the front door. So here's a master bedroom with a king size bed. You have your own shower and toilet combination. You have a TV. 
This room we were having issues as well with the fan. The fan was not working. This room seemed to be a lot hotter being that um, it touches the sun most of the day. Even though we have central AC here, we did file some, you know, kind of not really complaints, but file some com uh, complaints with the front desk of things not working. Um, and um, they basically took three days to send somebody out. And basically all this room needed, we had some TVs that didn't work either. And all they really needed was batteries for the remote control. So again, these are things that should be checked prior to guests arriving and not needing to wait three days for a service person to come here and just change batteries and, you know, giving us issues enjoying our stay here. All right, let's move on. Okay. All right, so this is the garage. And this is set up as a game room, which is pretty cool for kids. So you have a TV, you have a Star Wars theme here. You have foosball. You have my daughter in the background playing an arcade game. So that's pretty cool. Say hi, Isabella. So this is pretty cool, pretty cool hangout. I have to admit, uh, my kids have been spending most of their time in here and in the pool. So if you have a couple of kids and you wanna get rid of them, get them out of the way, you throw them in here. All right, so this is the lower level. This is another master bedroom. Let me see if I can turn the lights on. Okay, that doesn't seem to be working now. But anyway, so this is a master bedroom right off the kitchen living area. You know what I mean? If you wanna be away from everyone else upstairs, oh, here's the two walk-in closets. Well, not walk-in closets, but two closets. Again, sorry for the lighting. This is the bathroom, really big shower here. Um, dual vanities, big shower, toilets off in that closet right over there. And over here is a patio door leading out to the pool area. Let's just open this real quick. Okay. All right, so this is your enclosed pool area. We'll go out there in a second. Again, another master bedroom, first floor level. Um, so again, five master bedrooms, king size beds, you know, varying in sizes, but each with its own bathroom, which is pretty cool, um, to say the least. All right, so we're just going off to the patio area. Some of these decorations are, are actually ours because we're doing a birthday party for me. My, my birthday is passing. But just to get a quick look at the enclosed pool area. Okay, so you have a seating area here, barbecue off to the right. You have a covered area with lawn chairs. This is a projector that has not been working for us at all. You can see up here, the projector's there. Uh, it doesn't seem to be working or connecting for us. But again, all these floaty toys do come with the house, so that was kind of cool that they had that there. And the jacuzzi is off now, it does bubble up. But yeah, and then you have your outdoor sitting area right here. And you have your barbecue back here. Okay, so a uh, couple issues here. Um, barbecue. Barbecue, um, basically when you come to these places, they say that the gas in the barbecue is your responsibility to refill if the gas is out. Um, we tried using the barbecue, we refilled the gas, we went to a Walmart, got new gas, and the barbecue still does not work. Um, again, I call hotel management um, and they were just like, they sent someone over here and the guy just says, well, I don't know, I can't fix it. And that was basically their response. So I'm waiting to see if they're willing to do something in regards to compensating me because you know we expected to grill for quite a few days and it's kind of unfortunate that we can't also projector not working we thought we'd be able to watch some movies outdoor at night um and that's really not not the case either so there are some really good things about this place and some some things that aren't so good as well all right let's go back inside and see the living dining Oh, so I actually did wind up turning on the jacuzzi just so you get a shot of the jacuzzi going at it. It does work. So let's go inside again. Okay, so this is the dining room, kitchen, living room area. 
and there's a separate entrance to the pool area with a half bath right back here for anyone using the pool needing to make a pee pee. So I'm here at poolside uh, on my last night here in this uh, vacation rental and uh, I'm gonna go through the good and the bad and the things that um, that I really did not like about this place and the things that I did like uh, and then finally let you know if I do recommend this place for uh, you know families to stay at. So let's start out with with the bad. So when we first arrived here we had some issues where nine out of the ten TVs in the house did not work. Now I know you're on vacation and realistically you don't expect to be watching TV but in those in-between moments at night late at night you might want to watch some TV turn on the game some of that uh, of that nature and that just wasn't the case here so nine out of the ten TVs here did not work um, also we had an issue with a backyard projector so pan over Here's the pool at night here's the backyard projector we couldn't get that going we couldn't get that working with all the connections we tried numerous times it did not work so TVs aren't working projector isn't working so and that was the projector in the backyard was one of the main features why we wanted to to go with this house because we wanted to watch movies at night and stay in the backyard at night and, and, and it seemed to be pretty nice. Um, we had one of the rooms that was very hot, fan was not working in that room as well as the uh, central AC. Um, in addition, we had a out pan over here, outdoor barbecue right there in the corner. Condition guys, I didn't expect to be making this this late at night, but this is the only free chance I had. So um, outdoor barbecue, Per the rules of the vacation rental, if the gas is out, it's your responsibility to refill it. So we went to Walmart, we got new gas, the barbecue still doesn't work. Um, at that point, we uh, filed a complaint with the whole resort area uh, and they sent somebody over to, to come take a look. The guy was hacking and coughing and during this whole atmosphere of like everyone being afraid of, you know, catching whatever. Uh, that wasn't really a good look. He came and changed uh, batteries in the remote control. So about nine out of the 10 TVs all had remote controls that needed new batteries. So this is something that should be done uh, prior to guest arrivals, Make, making sure batteries work in remote controls, making sure the right remote controls are, are at the right TV. Um, and it just wasn't the case when we got here. So after he changed batteries and remote controls and got, you know, certain things working, uh, there's just other things like the barbecue. He's just like, oh, I'm sorry, it just doesn't work. Uh, there were a couple of TVs in the kids' room, which was, you know, for anyone that's a parent, they know that's the most important room that you want TVs working. You want to keep kids occupied so adults could have a good time as well. So when kids go to sleep or, you know, a little bit later at night, kids could be in the room watching TV, whatever the case may be. Um, and the TVs just were not working in the kids room and there really wasn't any uh, legitimate explanation for that um, also out of nowhere after I filed a complaint uh, about the projector the, the TVs in the kids room I found out about the barbecue later on uh, during the trip so I had to file like a different complaint about the barbecue not working uh, and I was advised that somebody would come out the following day to to uh, to repair that barbecue. It never happened. I had to continuously call uh, and just nothing really got done. So I'm really disappointed with this whole vacation home rental. Now, with that being said, uh, I've stayed in other vacation home rentals with Reunion Resort itself. Now this is like a sub area of Reunion. It's called uh, Solaris or something of that nature. Um, when I stayed in the Reunion side, I didn't have a lot of these issues. Um, we also had some issues with like fans, like fans in certain rooms wouldn't work, fans in other rooms just were on and you couldn't shut them off and there was really no explanation of why. Um, so without making this a really long drawn out uh, conclusion to this video, I really don't recommend this section of Reunion Resort. Do I recommend you staying in Reunion itself? Yes, I do. We've had a lot of fun at Reunion. Um, they have pools, they have something called the Lazy River where you could go around the whole um, area in, in this river with, um, with floaties and things of that nature. 
Uh, also, they had a kids section. This is kind of like a subdivision of Reunion. Uh, and again, I think it's called Solaris or something. I really don't recommend this area. Um, you know, the maintenance is subpar. The cleaning is subpar. Um, and it, it just really affected my good time here. So I'm going to end this video with Reunion Resort in general is a nice place to stay with your family. Uh, I paid about $1,500 on a couple of discounts uh, to nab this place, which is a seven bedroom house uh, from Friday to Wednesday. So just do the math on the days or whatever. Uh, so it's a fairly decent price, but you know, I was paying for the projector. I was paying to have TVs. I was paying to have barbecue and outdoor dining, and I didn't have those features. So uh, that's something I'm definitely going to take up with the actual um, vacation home rental group and seeing what can be done. Uh, I was I was told numerous times I'd get calls back, callbacks, and it didn't happen. Like today, you know, I was calling to see what was going on with the barbecue. I was seeing if they would call me back. They said we'll call you back in 20 minutes, and it just didn't happen. So I'm gonna say for Sunshine Paradise in the Solaris or Solar section of the reunion vacation home rentals definitely do not stay here there's a lot of issues here um oh and and to add one more thing um they just sent a random spectrum cable guy to the house without telling me um right before we were going to disney world and i basically had to sit here for like three hours with this cable guy while he went through every tv that shouldn't be my job to do. I don't own this house. I'm here on vacation. I shouldn't have to sit with a cable guy while he restarts and resets every single TV in the house. That's something that should be done prior to guests arriving. So, uh, big disappointment with this place. I had fun nevertheless with my family, you know, just having time with family and pools and Disney and all that just made this trip really nice, you know, magical but uh, I definitely would not recommend this section of reunion resort all right guys that's my video if you have any comments or any questions leave it in the comment section below and I'll see you guys in the next one